After the Hindu exodus episodes of Kairana, Nurpur and Kashmir, another hotspot has emerged and this time in Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre's backyard, Malwani, an old village area in a busy western suburb of Mumbai called Malad West, has seen an exponential rise in Muslim population in the last few years after which Islamist goons are pressurizing Hindus to leave the village, triggering a mass exodus. An ethnic cleansing of Hindus is taking place right under the nose of Uddhav Thakre. Hi and welcome, this is TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. And I am your host Piyush. In this video, I will tell you how Hindus are being forced to leave their homes as another Hindu mass exodus is underway and this time in Uddhav Thakre's backyard. Let's begin. BJP President Mangal Prabhat Lodha and MLA Nitish Rane visited Malwani on Monday to support Hindus of the area and demand action from the Uddhav government which is seemingly sleeping at the wheel. According to an organizer report, a few years ago the area had a blooming 85% Hindu population which unfortunately has now been reduced to around 25% only due to a surge in Muslim occupation. Local Muslim goons openly issue threats to Hindu families to leave the area permanently at the earliest. Complaining to the police has proved ineffective as the goons issue more dire threats again. Reportedly, the goons of the minority community throw carcasses of killed animals from illegal mutton shops at the doors of Hindu families. The loudspeakers installed at the illegal mosques continue to blur their cacophony throughout the day adding to noise pollution, all the while goons pelt Hindu houses with stones just for kicks. The residents of the region claimed that the goons enjoyed political patronage from the local Congress MLA Aslam Sheikh, who is also a cabinet minister in the Mahavikas Aghadi government. The victims claim, emboldened by their leaders' support, the Muslim hooligans have unabatedly encroached on their lands and built madrasas and dargahs on government lands. This is not the first time that the issue of Hindus being threatened with life and death consequences has come up in the area. Earlier in March, Lodha alleged that Hindus from Mumbai's Malwani were threatened to leave their homes. Addressing the Vidhan Sabha, Lodha, who is Malabar Hills MLA, alleged that number of Hindu voters have reduced by 15,000 while Muslim voters have risen by 12,000 in the Malwani area. He said, if you look at Vidhan Sabha voters list in Malad Malwani region, the number of Hindu voters have reduced by about 15,000 while the Muslim voters have risen by 12,000. Lodha added that outsiders like Bangladeshis, Rohingyas and Talibanis cannot use India as a dharamshala. He remarked, Malwani pattern is a hot topic in debate across the nation and with your help, this atrocity will be stopped. If I have the party's blessings, I will once again raise this issue in the assembly and all these cadres will encounter this in the cooperation. This is India, not a dharamshala where sometimes some Bangladeshis comes in, sometimes Rohingyas and then Talibani people seek to enter. Such type of atrocities will not work. Despite repeated attempts to bring attention to the dire issue, the Mahavikas Aghadi, led by Shiv Sena, has kept a stoic silence on the issue. The lack of apathy from Uddhav Thakre, the son of Hindu Hride Samrat Bala Thakre, regarding Hindu causes is indeed shocking. Ever since Uddhav severed ties with BJP and joined hands with NCP and Congress to form an unholy alliance of tarnished political ideologies and compromised moral values, the Hindus and the Hindutva cause has taken a back seat for the party which claims to represent Hindus. While Uddhav rests when Hindus are being ejected out of their own villages, he is the same egotistic man who throws in the entire state machinery to get behind a single man who uttered few words against him. As reported by TFI, Samit Thakkar, a Maharashtrian, was tied in chains with face covered in black cloth mask and dragged in an inhumane condition to the court just because he allegedly referred to CM Uddhav Thakre as modern day Aurangzeb while allegedly referring to Aditya Thakre as baby penguin in his tweets. A case study between two leaders that is Yogi Adityanath and Uddhav Thakre is enough for one to understand how deeply they care for the Hindus. When the news of exodus of Hindu families from Noorpur village in Aligarh district of Uttar Pradesh made waves in June earlier this year, the Yogi Adityanath administration quickly sprang into action 
and lost complaint against 11 perpetrators who are absconding. Yogi Adityanath himself took stock of the situation. Compare his actions to that of Uddhav Thakre and the viewer might understand how indifferent the MVA government has been in Maharashtra for Hindus.